Hello friends, as you can see in the picture, the Salang Tunnel, a unique piece of engineering that has been reconstructed and executed with the highest precision and standards, is reaching its peak. Currently, the concreting work inside the tunnel and 16 galleries has been completed, but from a technical point of view, several days should be spent after the concreting work is finished, so that it is ready for vehicles. But it will take several days. And today, the Salang Highway has been opened for passengers. It should be mentioned that the reconstruction work of Salang Tunnel started several months ago. Salang Tunnel was built using very high standards and designed, reconstructed and implemented in a completely standardized way. Passengers and drivers say that the cold season has arrived and traffic on the Kavak and Shibur Bamian routes is very difficult due to the climatic difficulties. He was counting the moments for the opening of this highway. Fortunately, today this highway has been opened for all people and drivers. This tunnel is operated all year round. This tunnel is 2.7 kilometers wide and serves as a crossing for the dangerous Salang Pass. Located on the A76 road, this tunnel connects the capital of Afghanistan, Kabul, to the northern provinces. The road leading to the tunnel is primarily a two-lane highway that winds through dangerous switchbacks in the mountains. The construction of this tunnel by the Soviet Union was completed in 1964, and at that time, it was the highest road tunnel in the world. Originally designed for a capacity of 2,000 vehicles per day, the tunnel now accommodates between 7,000 and 10,000 vehicles per day. During adverse conditions, especially in winter, trucks are often pulled down the 15 kilometers switchback at both ends of the tunnel. The reconstruction and basic repair work of 80 kilometers of Salang Highway started a few months ago. This Salang Highway reconstruction project is currently closed for traffic due to construction. The reconstruction project of the Salang Highway in the north and south of Salang will be completed by the private sector in 80 kilometers in two years. This road serves as the main corridor connecting Kabul to the main points in the north of the country and Central Asia and provides the possibility of industrial development and economic growth in Afghanistan. Salang Pass is a busy, difficult, and strategic highway of Afghanistan, and this pass connects the north of Afghanistan to the south of this country. Salang Highway from Jabal al-Sraj Parwan District to Kanjan Baglan District will be reconstructed by two private companies. The total cost of this project has not been clarified yet. Salang Highway connects nine northern provinces and four major commercial ports to Kabul. The construction of the Salang Tunnel began in 1958 and was completed in 1964. This tunnel has reduced the distance between the north and south of Afghanistan by 110 kilometers. The Salang Tunnel, like other Afghan infrastructures, was severely damaged in the civil wars, and after the fall of the Taliban regime in 2001, the Salang Highway was repaired with financial assistance from the World Bank. Four new tunnels were supposed to be built on the Salang Highway many years ago. These tunnels in four neighborhoods, including Puel Kaki to Doshi and Olang to Doshab, will make it easier for people to travel through this highway by cutting through the heart of the Hindu Kush Mountains. The construction of these four tunnels costs 1.6 billion US dollars. The construction of the new Salang Tunnel starts from Olang area in South Salang and extends to Doshab area in North Salang, and this tunnel will be the biggest tunnel in the region. The tunnel and the surrounding road network are in a very bad condition due to old age, lack of maintenance, accidents, fires, and acts of conflict. The tunnel falls well short of modern safety standards, and nearby roads are subject to dangerous avalanches. Steep highway grades, poor ventilation, lighting, and road surface make travel dangerous and restrictive. Improving the capacity, safety, and reliability of the Salang Corridor is essential for Afghanistan's security, as the Salang Corridor is the main route connecting Kabul to major points in the north of the country and Central Asia. Safe and secure road travel through the corridor is essential for industrial development and economic growth that improves conditions for communities in Afghanistan. The infamous Salang Pass in northern Afghanistan, which is known as one of the most dangerous and high mountain highways in the world, is set to operate in a much needed manner. The tunnel passes through the high mountains of the Hindu Kush and is often closed for days due to accidents, snow, 
ice, and avalanches. The rugged beauty of the surrounding landscape belies the dangers of using this road, a road that claims 40 lives a year. The Salang Tunnel, with its special features and problems, is a very unique and large structure in the heights of the Hindu Kush mountain. On the one hand, this tunnel facilitates the improvement of connections between different regions of Afghanistan and helps the economic growth of the country. On the other hand, safety problems and accidents related to the tunnel, issues of insufficient ventilation and poor lighting, and the presence of technical problems in the tunnel itself are things that need to be considered. This tunnel needs to be renovated and upgraded to ensure the safety of more drivers and passengers. On the other hand, considering the importance of this tunnel as one of the main routes connecting Afghanistan to different regions, upgrading and developing the infrastructure related to this tunnel seems very vital. Salang Tunnel in Afghanistan is considered as a vital infrastructure, but it needs serious improvements and measures to create safer and more effective traffic conditions. First, the ventilation and lighting system of the tunnel should be improved. Installing modern ventilation systems and increasing lighting will help increase safety and reduce risks such as carbon monoxide poisoning. The establishment of emergency stations with appropriate safety equipment also provides the possibility of opportunities in emergency situations and support for passengers. Finally, by increasing the capacity of the tunnel and more productivity, it helped to reduce traffic and make traffic easier. To achieve these goals, modern technologies should be used in monitoring traffic and identifying problems. These measures are considered as an important economic and security project in Afghanistan and require serious attention and investment for higher productivity and increased safety of this tunnel. Thank you for watching.